So I've got Joe Norris from Get Your Tips Out who provides daily football tips. And today's video is about 5.5 goals or more being scored in the game. So Joe, is this a bet that you do? How many selections do you choose? And what influences you to choose the over five and a half goals scored in the game? Uh, so with this bet, um, obviously there's a huge amount of risk involved, um, but that is then reflected in the price that you're getting for this type of bet. So really for me, um, if you're going to do sort of an accumulator or a multiple with this, you're only looking at two or three games because um, you, you're, you're going to get on average around eight to one for there to be six goals or more, uh, obviously over 5.5 goals. Um, now, for this bet to come in, I think you, of, you, you're, you often need both teams to score. So that's sort of my first port of call. Do, do I think both of these teams are good enough to score? Uh, that'd be the first thing I'm looking at. I'm looking at recent form. Um, are they both free scoring teams? Also, you've got to look at other factors like the competition. Is it the Premier League? Uh, is it a cup game? Is it uh, Champions League? So there's a lot to consider. But obviously, this is a riskier bet uh, with high rewards, basically. Yeah, for sure. I mean, likewise, I'm normally doing two or three. I'm normally doing three selections, if I'm being honest, and I might put it into like a patent bet or a trickster, yeah. um, which is like um, a few doubles or a treble and stuff like that. So that's kind of where I'm, I'm looking at because like eight, sometimes you can even get 10, 12 to one. So you're getting mm. big prices for it. So you're getting big returns. So yeah. if I can do like three singles and a couple of doubles and a treble, then then happy days. That's kind of where, where I'm looking at with this type of bet. Something that I'm normally looking at for something like this, because you're completely looking for a goal fest, is whether I think it's going to be a dirty game. Because I'm I'm kind of hoping that there's going to be a sending off. I'm, and then if someone gets sent off, there might end up being quite a lot of goals. It opens up quite a bit. Or yeah. someone that's a high-pressing kind of team. Um, yeah. So sometimes the derbies, I'm looking at stuff like that. We're hoping where Man City are playing Man United or Liverpool are playing Everton. And you're just hoping that there might be an early goal and then some sort of sending off, and then the game's going to open up. It's going to be end to end, yeah. and and that's kind of where I'm looking at this. But because of, because of the big odds, I mean, six goals in a game is it's few and far between. Like so, it's yeah. You'll do you'll do well choosing a few of them up, Joe, on a daily basis. Oh no, yeah, without a doubt, it's not something that you're you'll do often. But obviously, if you can land one now and then, and obviously it's a massive price that you're going to get rewarded with. Um, yeah, there's a lot of factors that come into it um, you know for me as well I quite like this bet if there's like uh, key players missing so if you've got like a Van Dijk uh, missing for Liverpool at the back um, I think that's a good example of where they will be a lot more open uh, with him missing or even if uh, the uh, first team goalkeepers missing can be another angle so obviously Pope's been missing for Newcastle for a while so that's another another sort of um, way in on this bet but yeah, I mean, it's really, it's small stakes for high returns, this bet. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So if anyone's looking for any football bets and you're looking for any games that might be high scoring games, Joe provides over five and a half goals. There's a link in the description for each game that he feels could have more than five and a half goals scored in the game.